Hello to everyone who's watching this video, because I, um, you probably came here to see this little contraption I made, which is a flying machine in the newest snapshot of Minecraft, where it was made possible to move multiple slime blocks with pistons at once. So, yeah, people already posted flying machines, um, the zip crowd had the idea, or I think they didn't really, the idea has been around for a long time, but they made actually a, a mod and wrote the code to make this possible, so they, they came up with obviously a lot of the ideas. I think JL made a video on uh, self-propelling um, automobile piston thingy, so yeah, so that's my version. Um, that's some versions from Reddit which are very compact, but mine's actually very fast. Um, uh, like, those are all going at like normal speed, what you usually get when you build one, but this is, is going a bit faster. So, to prove that to you, because you won't believe me otherwise, I'm gonna start those two. Yeah, you probably know them, I'm gonna link the creators, or the probably the Reddit links in the description, so yeah. So, those both are equally as fast. Oh, e yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I think they exactly are. So, now I'm gonna start off this one. And I think it's gonna catch up in a minute. <laughs> Obviously not in a minute, because it kind of has caught up already to the first one. Yeah, and I, th I think it's twice as fast. I didn't really measure it, but... Maybe it's even more than, than twice twice as fast because yeah it, it seems fast. Um, oh okay, let's let's stop it. That one, and he's gonna stop eventually. So yeah, this one is is, is a lot faster because it utilizes uh, a new or kind of a concept uh, I came up with where I, I thought about how can you just make these things faster so I actually the the first flying machine I, I invented myself was based up uh, was based on the video Sespling made where he also featured flying machines so it's it's kind of on that principle but the usual you kind of usually have to make a loop of four piston constructions which um, basically look like this. Oh, let, let me set that up right, real quick. Okay, here we're back. So I set up this li little contraption, which is kind of one-to-one -one the design Zestling feature, and I don't really know if he got it from somewhere else or if he came up with the set, but it's pretty obvious and self-explanatory. So if you give the first piston a push, it's just gonna get through and we kind of get the same it kind of looks just like before, though. So you can give it another push and it just cycles through. So if you if you then um, take the back and kind of bring it back to the front, you can create a loop, but I'm I'm not gonna. And so you you would expect that something like that would work. So that's kind of I think that's mm, obviously it doesn't because it's it's too long. It's a stable system. It doesn't. It can't be a stable system. Yeah, but it doesn't work because um, really my explanation, or like I explained it to myself, it doesn't get enough block updates. Like the pistons are still extended when they are should be pushed, and so it, it can't be pushed. So this system actually works if you give it block updates. So then I just w thought of a workaround. Yeah, well, just give them the block updates they want. Oops, those pistons. So. That's just what this design is about. You can see that that part is exactly the same as that part. And then I just replicated um, it on... I kind of didn't replicate, but I, I duplicated this pic piston over here. And then made this piston back here to, to update these. So I'm gonna, gonna set it up over at the other machine real quick, so you you can kind of see it and understand it. So, to make this work, we have to have an update piston. 
so it's just another normal piston which will go right here and update this one. So how I'm actually doing this is, is pretty simple for the first one. You just put slime dogs here, actually that would be enough for now. You put one here and then when this block gets pushed over here with that piston he's gonna extend and at just at the right moment update this piston. So if we now we see this update, we don't need to make this block update anymore. We just have to make the block update back here. So next, we I had to, or we, we have to find a way to also update that one. So yeah, this the um, then yeah. Let me let me just um, set it up real quick. So we're back. I actually when I say I set something up, I, I usually just rethink my my design and, and see how I can best. Uh, presented on presented on video so um, yeah well, but what I actually did this time I, I kind of updated it a few times so this finished version is in another position so you can see better what I did because I tried at the beginning maybe you can do it but I didn't manage to like wire this part back up to back here you can't add more uh, let's demonstrate here you can't add more slime blocks here because then it won't move because yeah, won't move because there are too many slime blocks. You're only allowed to have 12 and with the piston it's 11 though I could only add one more slime block but I couldn't add another piston. So what I did is uh, I then duplicated this piston over here. So what I'm, what I'm doing is just like the same design as over here with the same redstone block and with a, with a normal piston over here. And yeah, this <laughs> this is now in a weird state. Yeah, that that's just yeah, like that. Nope, like that. <laughs> there we go. So now I have this will now still work, but we have like a lot space to add slime blocks over here, and that's just what I did. Then I I went around the back, like that. And then connected a piston over here, or like set up a piston over here, which will just work in the same way as the phone did, because now mm, we we will see it in, uh, when when I start this thing up. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get away a bit, but those this big ring, even though it's like kind of from two separate systems, will move at the same time. So this updating will work. And the whole thing will move, and um, it will be quicker than normal machines because the blocks are getting updated more often. So you can, with that trickery, you can make that machine actually faster than uh, all the other self-moving automobiles in Minecraft I have seen. So I hope this video wasn't too long, and I hope you, uh, I kind of managed to make you kind of understand <laughs> uh, what I meant because this, this is uh, the first video I, I uploaded to YouTube so uh, I'm doing my, I'm doing my best bear with me um, but I, ju I just wanted to um, yeah throw this design out there and see if I, I'm pretty sure there can be more stuff done with this and it can be compacted more but I was just I'm just trying <laughs> to do my part to improve this design because this new feature is definitely awesome and I think these machines are definitely one of the most awesome things you can do with it so yeah, I know if I said that already, but I'm there are obviously links in the video description to the videos and the I mentioned and to the other two designs. So yeah, and that's that's it with this video. <laughs>